estimating products of decimal numbers. Hello students, welcome back to my class. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to estimate the products of decimal numbers with reasonable results. Let's start! A boy visited his grandfather's farm which measures 50.6 meters long and 7.8 meters wide. The boy wonders about the estimated area of the farm, aiming to get a quick idea of its size. Do you know what estimation means? Estimation is a way to quickly solve a problem when an exact answer isn't necessary. For instance, if a girl wants to estimate the height of a tree, she might think it's three times her height. If she's four feet tall, she estimates the tree to be 12 feet tall. Estimation is also handy when shopping. For example, if a cupcake costs 9.75 pesos and you want to buy four pieces, you can estimate the cost to 10 pesos each, resulting in a quick total of 40 pesos. Now that you understand the concept of estimation, Let's go back and help the boy estimate the farm's area. The area is found by multiplying the length by the width, which gives us 50.6 times 7.3. To estimate, round each decimal to nearest whole number before multiplying. Remember, to round the number to the nearest whole number, look at the first digit after the decimal point. If the digit after the decimal point is 5 or more, Round up by adding 1 to the digit in the 1's place. If it's less than 5, round down. For example, in 50.6, since 6 is greater than 5, let's round up by adding 1 to 50, and that's 51. While in 7.3, since 3 is less than 5, we need to round down. The whole number will remain the same while the digits after the whole number become 0. Hence, 7.3 rounded off is 7. Now let's multiply. 51 times 7 is 357. Therefore, the estimated area of the farm is 357 square meters. Now that you already know how to estimate products of decimals, let's have more example. What is the estimated product of 6.75 and 8.56? Remember, to estimate, Round each decimal to the nearest whole number before multiplying. To round a number to the nearest whole number, look at the first digit after the decimal point. Here, we can see that the digits are 7 and 5, which are either greater than or equal 5. So, we will round up. Let's round up 6.75. Since 7 is greater than 5, let's add 1 to 6. And that's 7. Let's also round up 8.56 since the digit after the decimal point is 5. Let's add 1 to 8. And that is 9. Now let's multiply. It's 7 times 9 which is 63. Therefore, the estimated product is 63. Let's go to the next one. Find the estimated product of 15.13 and 3.2. Let's round off the decimals first. For 15.17, since 1 is less than 5, we need to round down. The whole number will remain the same while the digits after the whole number become 0. Hence, 15.17 rounded off is 15. Same with 3.2. Since 2 is less than 5, we need to round down. The whole number will remain the same while the digits after the whole number become 0. Hence, 3.2 rounded off is 3. Now it's time to multiply. 15 times 3 is 45. Therefore, the estimated product is 45. Let's go to our last example. Let's round the estimated product of 7.5 and 2.4. Let's go first with 7.5. Since the digit after the decimal point is 5, it means we need to round up. Let's add 1 to 7, and that is 8. For 2.4, since 4 is less than 5, it means we need to round down. The whole number will remain the same while the digits after the whole number become 0. Hence, 2.4 rounded off is 2. Now let's multiply. 8 times 2 is 16. The estimated product is 16. 
wonderful students. It's a wrap. Here are the things that you learned today.